So, new lens day. Seems to be quite a few of those at the moment. One second. But I've been needing this lens for quite some time. And so I have been looking at this for ages and I've been, uh, I've nearly bought it. There were three versions of what I'm about to show you out there. And well, there's the 1.4 version, which is 500 and something pounds. There's an F2 version, which is about 379 pounds. Or there's the newest XC version, which is still F2, 35 millimeter, fully plastic, lightweight version of this lens. And so one thing, Something I love to do, okay, I love to buy cheaper end gear and use it professionally. The reason I love to do that is because people underrate gear so much. They just look to the new, shiny, expensive gear and just think, you know, we've got to have that because it's, you know, it's what everyone is saying is the latest and the greatest. And so you have photographers out there buying stupidly expensive gear that they can't afford but they're getting into debt over it and they're having to like fund all these photography um, purchases thinking they need that to justify their business or to make their make it look as if you know they are legit well I just think that's ridiculous you can take professional photographs with a very very inexpensive gear because it's still great quality and that's really important to remember so I bought the XC35. XC stands for basically, a, <laughs> it should be X cheaper because basically it is cheaper built, cheaper um, price, but still same optics. And that's the thing to remember, okay? This has got the same optics as the XF 35mm F2, which is a beautiful camera, a beautiful lens. Okay, so we've got the bits you normally get in these things and Get this open, here we are, <laughs> one big box. Well, actually small box, very lightweight. This thing only weighs 130 grams. I mean, it is, it's small. It's got this weird plastic thing there, which we'll take off. Um, it's small, extremely lightweight. I think it's like, yeah, 130 grams. I think it's only about 46 and a half millimeters high. I mean, it literally is very small. Let me just, hold it there for you to see. I'll take the lens cap off too, and you can see it that way. See here, it's fully plastic. But I'm gonna need my glasses for this to read. So it's got a 43 mil thread, obviously F2. And the reason I went for this one, apart from the price, um, let me find the camera. There we go, let's get this one on. The reason I went for this one I was always, really, I was always gonna get the F2 version just because I love the F2 lenses. I just think they are beautiful. I know there's a big mystique about the 35mm 1.4. I understand that and I'm sure it's amazing. But the thing is, is that the F2 lenses, I've just got a contrast to them that I love. And as soon as I put this on my X-T3 in the shop, I was like, yes, I'm having it straight away. Um, because it's just got that feel of the F2 lenses, which, is it more filmic? Is it, whatever it is, the contrast and the colors just are beautiful and I love them. And so let's have a look through. Yeah, it's lovely, 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 lovely. It's got even got nice bokeh as well, even though it's, F2 is bright. Let's take a, let's take the first picture. Here we go. F2. Now you have to remember with these things. There it is. You have to remember with these things that with this lens there is no aperture ring, which means you have to change your aperture with the little dial there on the XE2 and on whatever camera you've got. Use the dials to change your aperture, which is no no biggie. Um, you're gonna have to remember um, that, to do that, I put it into A, and then literally then you can literally just 
there we are, change the aperture like that very easily. Um, it's got a stepping motor inside, which basically means um, it's got extremely um, high speed autofocus. Um, it's got, um, obviously, being F2, it's got, you know, it'll, have a, it'll be decently bright. It'll also be decently, um, de pretty decent inside, I think. F2, I find in my house anyway, F2 is fine inside. There are sometimes, maybe early mornings, if it's a kid's birthday and it's still pretty dark outside, um, maybe I'll go to a, um, an F1.4 lens just to, you know, get the shots of them opening their presents. But you can just boost your ISO and get a bit more grain. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's obviously extremely lightweight, extremely small. I just think this is a great addition to my lens lineup. And for the price of a £169 that I paid, I just think it's really, really, really good value. 169 for this, 379 for the um, XF F2. And the difference between those two is basically it is plastic um, and it's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only difference. You know, the, uh, oh yeah, it's not weather sealed. So if you want to go out in the rain, then obviously you need the, the, um, the uh, XF version. The XF version, obviously weather sealed and metal. And then you've got the XF 1.4 version, which will be a bit bigger, still metal, but not, I don't think that's weather sealed. So you're gonna, you've got the three lenses to choose. And I love that Fuji do this. They give you a 1.4 lens if you're gonna be shooting, I don't know, weddings indoors. They give you an F2 lens that's, got, that's weather sealed, so you can go and stand in the rain for hours. And then for those who think, you know what, I just can't afford to spend that money, they say, fine, we'll give you a, a, a plastic version that's exactly the same optics, still extremely well built as you expect from Fuji, but at the same time, is much more affordable. So I just think Fuji have done it again. They're amazing and I'm delighted with this, this, little, this little lens. It's gonna do me very proud. So I will go away and take lots of photos with this and I will come back and do a review in case you are looking at getting this lens. Um, and wondering if it's worth spending the extra money or whether actually this will do very nicely for you. So yeah, I'll go away and do that. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good day.